what did Katrina do? And I'm not gonna go through all of this, you can read it very quickly, but it left behind debris and hazardous waste and numbers that are just startling. Um, uh, 22 million tons of debris with more than 12 million tons left in Orleans Parish alone. The point is, point is Orleans Parish had more debris than any other parish in the state of Louisiana and even in parts of Mississippi. And you're talking about refrigerators, uh, white goods as they call it, um, automobiles, about 350,000 of which one was mine. Uh, I had lost one car. There were toxic contamination threats like you wouldn't believe. Um, the amount of contamination that was left was still pretty startling. The number of underground storage tanks that were there, and believe me, I don't, the very little of that stuff has been removed. When I look at 60,000 underground storage tanks, I can tell you for certain 60,000 of those tanks have not been removed, uh, especially from New Orleans. More than 110 of New Orleans' 180,000 homes were flooded and set in water for days. I had eight feet in my house. As many as 30 to 50,000 homes citywide may, ha may have to be demolished. And you're talking about old houses with asbestos, lead, and all of these kinds of things still in it. Schools, school children were absolutely affected and the entire New Orleans public school system was shut down. And what that means for African Americans in a city that's 70% black, school system 98% African American. Uh, most of the teachers were African American. It was a, the, the school system was a big employer for the middle class. 3,000 school teachers were laid off. All of my friends, doctors, lawyers, teachers, all kinds of professionals, since Katrina, they are unemployed. And I can't explain to you what that means for people who have worked all of their lives and you find yourself with your home destroyed and no job and nobody trying to find a way to get you back home so that you can go back to work and restore, uh, restore your homes. Uh, Katrina changed everything. That was August 29, 2005. I paid my last house note on August 10, 2005. So it has an even stronger meaning for me.